Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the day devoted to all souls, the day we remember and pray for all of those who have gone before us, who have yet to receive a place with the beatific vision, those who are being purified, prepared to spend their eternity in the presence of the Most High God. So we come together today, we pray for all of these people, our friends, our family, our benefactors, all those who have no one to remember them. And we ask God's mercy on them, and that he will free them and receive them in his presence forever. As we begin this Mass again, we stop and confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do. And we ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Let us pray for all of our departed brothers and sisters. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and consolence as we renew our faith in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our hope that all of our departed brothers and sisters will share in his resurrection. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. I'm reading from the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to tell you a mystery. You shall not all fall asleep. But we shall all be changed in an instant, in the twinkling of an eye, at the sound of the last trumpet. The trumpet will blast, and the dead will rise incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. This corruptible body must be clothed with incorruptibility, and this mortal body be clothed with immortality. The saying of Scripture will be fulfilled, Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Eternal rest come under them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance, and he will report he shall not fear. Absolve, O Lord, the souls of all the faithful departed from every bond of sin. And by the help of your grace, may they deserve to escape the judgment of vengeance and to enjoy the blessedness of light eternal. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds of the Jews, I solemnly assure you that an hour is coming and it is now here, when the dead shall hear the voice of God's Son. 
those who have listened shall live. Indeed, just as the Father possesses life in himself, so is he granted that the Son also possesses life in himself. And he has turned over to him power to pass judgment, because he is the Son of Man. No need for surprise at this, an hour is coming in which all those in the tombs shall hear his voice and will come forth. Those who have done right will rise to live, who have practiced evil will rise to be damned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear brothers and sisters, today we keep a celebration in honor of all of our dead brothers and sisters. We keep this day as a day to remember them, to pray for them, and to ask them to pray for us as well. We come together and ask God to forgive them and to show them his mercy and his love. So now we remember all of these. And let us now pray for all of these, our deceased family, friends, loved ones, for all who are known only to the Lord. For Carmen and Alfredo, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For John and Benice, for James, James and Palmyra, Henry and Dora, Laura High, for all of my deceased family members, and for all of your deceased family members. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Charlie and Carolyn, for Doug, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Sue, Linda, Gary, Jim, Alexander and Stephanie, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Clarence and Grace, John and Martha, for Mrs. Little, for Joe Workman, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Ed and Dorothy, John, Francisco, Daniel, John, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Dean, for Terence, Justin, Philip, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Bobby, Ginger, James, Joseph, Dean, Terence, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Justin, Philip, Mary, Leroy, and Alice, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Steve, for Grandma and Grandpa Kelly, for Sean, John, for Stacy's mother, dad, and her aunts, Barbara and Diane. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Wanda, Felix, Richard and Mary, Warren and Jean, Hazel and Archie, Pearl and William, Julie, Larry, Marjorie, Charles, Frank, Fran and Paul. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For Bud and Dorothy. For all those who are forgotten have, and have no one to remember them. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merits of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, and whatever good they have done or evil they have endured, be for them the remission of their sins, the fullness of grace, and the reward of everlasting life. Turn our rest ground unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the Creator and Redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants the remission of all their sins, that through our prayers they may obtain that pardon that they have always desired. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May they rest in peace. Amen. Lord 
Jesus Christ, King of glory, deliver the souls of all the departed from the pains of hell and the deep pit. Deliver them up from the lion's mouth. May hell not swallow them up, nor may they fall into darkness. But may Michael, the holy standard bearer, bring them into the holy light, which once you promised to Abraham and to his children forever. We offer you, O Lord, sacrifices and prayers of praise. Receive them for the souls whom we remember this day. Grant, O Lord, that they may pass from the death to life, which you once promised to Abraham and to his children forever. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have the spread to walk in which earth is given in human hands of name. Let it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, we are united in this sacrament by the love of Jesus Christ. Accept these gifts and receive our brothers and sisters into the glory of your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him who rose from the dead, our hope of resurrection dawned. The sadness of death gives way to the bright promise of immortality. Lord, for your people life is changed, not in death. When the body of our earthly dwelling lies in death, we gain an everlasting dwelling place in heaven. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in the run-ending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We come to you, Father, with praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and to bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy Catholic Church, which over Lord and guided, and a peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for Francis the Pope, for Stephen our Bishop of Rouen, who hold and teach the Catholic faith that comes for, to us from the Apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray. For all those who mourn, all those who weep, 
saying we'll be given comfort. Remember all of us gathered here before you, you know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you the sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption. In union with the whole church, we honor, the ever, honor Mary, the ever virgin mother of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. We honor Joseph, her husband, the apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. We honor Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers and gain us your constant help and protection. Father, accept this offer from your whole family. Banish your peace in this life, save us from final damnation, and count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering, make it acceptable to you, and offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. The day before he suffered, he took bread in his sacred hands, and looking up to heaven to you as Almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the cup again. He gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ your Son. May your people and your ministers recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. We put favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. As we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. For all those mentioned earlier, for all the departed. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Philistine, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. For you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body, body, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us to receive it. the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live forever. Anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Let us pray. Lord God, may the death and resurrection of Christ, which we celebrate in this Eucharist, Bring our departed faithful to the peace of your eternal home. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. In his great love, the God of all consolation gave us the gift of life. May he bless us all with faith in the resurrection of his Son and with the hope of rising to new life. Amen. To we who are alive, may he grant forgiveness, and to all who have died, a place of light and peace. Amen. If you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, so may you, be, so may you live with him forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace. Thanks be to God.